nothing better than a baby goat. I know I want one. We are checking in with Chris H. Olson again, and this time he is showing us how to make a bee bath. Well, we're also, we're also going to talk about how you attract bees okay. to your garden. And these are honey bees. I attract them. So you whatever I'm bees, doing, they come to me. <laughs> but you know, we need bees. Do you know about, about every, every about four bites you put in your mouth, three of those bites somehow are connected to pollination through bees. Interesting. And there's we're having a big decline right now because mm -hmm. of bees. And, and that's because of what we call the four Ps, which is the parasites, pathogens, Poor nutrition, which means we're taking away a lot of their flowers and mm -hmm. things like that. And of course, pesticides. Mm. So here's what we can do as homeowners. Okay. First of all, we can plant flowers in our yard that are going to attract bees. And what are these? And this is mandevilla, there's lantana, salvias, anything that has pollen. Mm -hmm. is what they're going to be attracted to. So that. if you could just do one pot alone will attract bees, especially honeybees. Now also, watch your pesticides. When you spray a home, bees normally don't come out until later in the morning okay. when it starts to warm you up. You said they sleep for uh, five to eight they hours can, a day? Bees can sleep up to five or eight hours. So they're like you. They go to sleep at night and mm -hmm. they wake up in the morning. So if you can spray first thing in the morning before they're flying around, that's going to help significantly. Also, bees like to drink drink water. So if you don't have water around your yard, they will start going to other places. So if you want to attract your bees, we create what we call a bee bath. Now it's real simple. Now you think, well, maybe a bird bath would right. work. <laughs> well, bird baths are deep, so that's hard for bees. They like okay. shallow water surfaces. So any type of shallow container, it can be a terracotta saucer, a glaze saucer, anything works, but they're still too deep for bees. So okay. we're going to create our own. So add whatever you want in there. I made a whole assortment of okay. little things that go in there that they can crawl on and then they can go down and reach the water. Ooh. We have nice. river rocks. We're just adding a bunch of things I know. in there. I did <laughs> oyster shells. I mean, be artistic. You can do marbles. Those work. Crystals. Anything. If you mix and match different things, this creates a surface for the bees so they don't drown. Okay. Now, you can do this in a bird bath if you want in the middle of it. All right. And then, of course, you're going to fill it with water. Now, now, because it's a shallow dish, it's going to evaporate fairly quick. And so you got to fill it up maybe every other day or okay. so. And that looks so simple, but right. you'll be amazed how many honeybees will be attracted to your yard. Interesting. I didn't even know, I mean, that bees drink water. I guess I didn't even realize that. I'm thinking they're just attracted to the flowers. They're just like the us. Flowers. They eat, they drink, and they, they sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Bee, I'll be the queen bee. <laughs> yeah, you are, I'll babe. be the queen bee. I'll hail the queen bee. All right. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate Thanks. you. You're watching THB 11 this morning.